Lou Reed was in a heck of a state. I mean, he was not a, a, a nice person. I went to see him at concert, and he just yeah. sat on the edge of the stage. Oh, did he? Yeah, and did, did nothing. So anyway, <laughs> he, 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 he come, we arranged for him to come into our radio station for an interview, you see. So he's sitting in a reception, and I've just finished the breakfast show, and I come out, and I say, good day, Lou, I'm Fred, I'm going to be interviewing you shortly. Uh, anything I can get you? Coffee, tea? We used to do a promotion in those days called Rocktober that mm-hmm. lasted for the mm-hmm. whole month of October. Yeah. Yep. So I said to Steve, who was our guy in the recording studio, I said, I said put, the, put the Rocktober bit on. He said, why? I said, Lou Reed's out there. He said, Lou Reed's not going to do a jingle for us. I said, put the bit on. Mm. And I went out to Lou and I said, Lou, um, you know, can you do me a favor, please? So he came into the studio and it was just amazing to see Lou Reed in our recording studio with a pair of headphones on and he did this. Lou Reed. Hero over October. Roll over October. Oh Ooh, roll over October. <laughs> Come on, roll over October. Man, roll over October. On High Rocky. Oh, my mate man. Lou. That's oh, yeah. so Lou Reed, though. Wait for John, wow. John Cale and Andy Warhol to well, walk into the room. Was Lou, and, and as far as I'm, I'm aware, <laughs> I've been told he never did a jingle. Th- well, none of these guys did. No, they didn't do did jingles. And not only that, during Rocktober, we'd play it, and I'd have to say to the other announcers, <laughs> stop playing that so much. And I was guilty yeah, of it as much. Yeah, of it, was, it was the favourite one. But wow. that was it. That was uh, my moment with Lou Reed back in 1974. <laughs> That's very cool. That is incredible. Well done.